List of Tekken Characters The following is a list of characters from the fighting game series Tekken. Characters are chronologically listed in order of the game in which they debut it. Characters Players can choose from a diverse cast that hails from a variety of ethnic backgrounds and fighting styles. A few characters have supernatural origin, such as Devil and Ogre, while animal characters like Kuma the Bear and Roger the Kangaroo provide comic relief. In the story mode of the game, each character generally has their own personal reasons for entering the tournament and competing for the prize. Only four characters have appeared as playable characters in all seven main Tekken installments to date, Heihachi Mishima, Nina Williams, Paul Phoenix, Yashimitsu, although Kuma, and King, but with two different characters, also appeared in all Tekken main installments, though their appearances since Tekken 3 are their successors rather than the originals. Although Heihachi and Kuma are playable in all home versions of Tekken, they are both unplayable in the arcade version of the first Tekken and only appear as opponents. Five characters Anna Williams, Kazuya Mishima, Lee Kailan, Lei Wulong, and Martial Law would come close having appeared in six installments, though Kazuya and Law made cameo appearances in the third game. Jack also have appeared in six main installments, with six different characters Jack, Jack-2, Gun Jack, Jack-5, Jack-6, and Jack-7, with Tekken 4 being the game a Jack Cyborg was absent, although a Jack-4 was created, this version was mass-produced instead of only one produced like the other Jack Cyborgs. Main Series Notes On update version only console version. 2. Skin slash palette swap. 3. Playable in console versions only. 4. Playable boss. 5. Unlockable. 6. Unplayable boss. 7. Unplayable in Tekken 5. 10. Only in Tekken 6 VR. 11 Unlockable in Tekken 5 Dr. Deprive 12 Skin Slash Palette Swap in Tekken 5 14 Characters Appearing in Cinematics or Intros or a Trailer or in the Background on a Stage or in a Picture 15 The Characters are only Enemies in a Certain Mode 16 Unplayable in Arcade Version 17 Update Version Only Arcade Version 18 Unplayable Boss Release Date Arcade Slash Playable Update Character Later Arcade 19 Only in Tekken 7 FR Slash Round 220 Only Pre-Order Slash DLC in Console Version 21 Only Playable in Story Mode for a Short Time in Console Version 22 Only in Tekken 5 24 Only in Story Mode in Console Version 25 Only in Update in Round 2 26 not playable in round 2. Spin off games, s off games. Brian Fury, Jin Kazama, Ling Xiaoyu, Paul Phoenix, King Roman 2, Makujin, and Nina Williams are the only characters to have appeared in all five major spin off games. Games highlighted in blue are no longer supported. Notes s s on update version only. 2 skin slash palette swap. 3 playable in console versions only. 4 playable boss. 5 unlockable. 6 unplayable boss. 7 update and unlockable. 8 characters appearing in cinematics, or intros, or a trailer, or in the background on a stage, or in a picture. 9 the characters are only enemies in a certain mode. 10 unplayable in arcade version. 11 unplayable in online mode. 12 unlockable in Wii U edition. 13 unlockable if not selected in adventure mode. 14 only playable in fight lab mode for the prologue. Other games. Other media. 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 Media, 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 media. Only Heihachi Mishima and Kazuya Mishima have appeared in all four film adaptations of the series. Introduced in Tekken.
Anna Williams, Armor King I slash Roman II, Ganryu, who, voiced by Banjo Jinga Tekken, Hidenari Yugaki TK5 present, Takashi Nagasako TK2 Tekken Tag Tournament, Tekken, The Motion Picture, Lowell B. Bartholomew Tekken, The Motion Picture, English Paul St. Peter Tekken, Blood Vengeance, English Ganryu Japanese, Yan Long, Hepburn Ganryu is a sumo wrestler. This rejection, coupled with his mounting gambling debts, steers him into a life of crime. Heihachi Misima hires him as a henchman for the first King of Iron Fist tournament, in which Ganryu loses to Yoshimitsu, who then drains Ganryu's remaining finances and leaves him broke. Kazuya Misima pays him handsomely for his services in his Misima Zebutsu Corporation. Ganryu participates in the second tournament as Kazuya's bodyguard, but he also wishes to build his own sumo ring to impress his secret crush, Michelle Cheng, but instead, she defeats him in battle, and Ganryu returns to Japan. Two decades after the events of Tekken 2, Ganryu opens a sumo stable and trains other wrestlers. However, after seeing Michelle's daughter Julia on television fighting in the fourth tournament, he enters the fifth in hopes of wooing Julia, if he is able to recover her lost forest rejuvenation data that he eventually finds inside the Misima Zebutsu's laboratory, but Julia receives the information and flees before Ganryu can propose marriage. Now faced with a failing restaurant he had opened afterward in Hawaii, Ganryu enters the tournament again in Tekken 6 in attempt to advertise the restaurant and bring in revenue. Unfortunately, Ganryu accidentally donated all his restaurant earnings to Julia's reforestation campaign. In order to fix his financial problems, Ganryu decided to enter the seventh tournament. Ganryu's occupations have varied in alternate Tekken media in the animated film Tekken, the motion picture. He is Lee Kalan's bodyguard, and in Tekken, Blood Vengeance, he is a P teacher at the Misima Polytechnic School. Game Spy named Ganryu as one of their 25 extremely rough brawlers in video gaming. Ganryu is more of a tragic character as his unrequited love for fellow fighter Julia fuels his brutality. In 2011, Computer and Video Games deemed Ganryu one of the series' worst ever characters, if losing some weight and not wearing a massive nappy all the time isn't the first thing you do to attract someone whose mother you've already failed to hit on, then you're doing something terribly, horribly wrong. Heihachi Misima Jack 1, 2, 5, 6 and 7 slash gun jack slash x Kazuya Misima slash devil Kazuya slash kid Kazuya King I slash Roman 2 Kuma I slash Roman 2. Kunimitsu I slash Roman 2. Voiced by Kunimitsu I. Katsuhiro Harada Tikon. Shihokakuchi TK2 TTT. Megumi Toibachi TTT2. Voiced by Kunimitsu Roman 2. Sayori Hayami. TK7 Kunimitsu Japanese. Zhuguang is a title given to two female Kanoichi. The first Kunimitsu is a blind treasure hunter who conceals the upper half of her face with a fox-shaped mask. She was a member of the Manji, a clan of ninja bandits led by Yashimitsu, and became skilled in usage of the stealth knife and Manji-style ninjutsu before being expelled from the group for petty theft. She enters the first King of Iron Fist tournament in the original Tekken intending to steal a Native American pendant from fellow competitor Michelle Chang, but she is defeated by Chang and goes into hiding before seeking solace with her bladesmith grandfather. He reveals to Kunimitsu that Yashimitsu's sword is a priceless relic that was handed down through the Manji and capable of dismembering enemies spiritually and mentally. Kunimitsu enters the second tournament in Tekken 2, to defeat Yashimitsu and claim his sword so her grandfather can duplicate it before his death, but the outcome turns failure as she retire from the tournament events for the rest of her life and starting a family. She is succeeded by her daughter, who debuted as a downloadable character in Tekken 7. She took on the Kunimitsu name and mask to perpetuate the legacy. The original Kunimitsu is selectable in the non-canonical Tekken Tag tournament 
and is a downloadable console exclusive character in Tekken Tech Tournament 2. It is revealed that Kunimitsui became ill during her daughter's undercover missions as a student at Miss Hima High. Once she learned her mother's history relating to Yashimitsu, Kunimitsu Roman II began to carry her previous mission to lighten her up. In a 2012 fan poll held by Namco, Kunimitsu was the eighth most requested Tekken character for the then upcoming crossover fighter Tekken X Street Fighter, receiving 10.97% of 88,280 total votes. In 2021, the original Kunimitsu also placed 9th and 38th in online and offline usage respectively in Tekken 7, prior to the developer decide to introduce the second Kunimitsu in the said 7th game. Lee Kalen slash Violet Martial Law Michelle Chang Nina Williams slash Summer Nina Paul Phoenix 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 Prototype Jack Wang Jinrei Hey Jinrei Jinrei Voiced by Tamio Oki T Kone Tilde T T T Hukai and TK5 Wang Jinrei Japanese Wang Jing Lei Wan Zinrei Hepburn Wang Jinrei Pinyin Wang Jinglei is an elderly man who was a close friend of Hei Hachi, Mishima's father Jinpachi, and lived as a recluse in the Mishima Gardens. Wang tutors his distant relative Ling Xiaoyu, who debuts in Tekken 3 in the martial arts at a young age. He draws rival martial law in the first King of Iron Fist tournament, then enters the second tournament in Tekken 2 in order to fulfill the deceased Jinpachi's wishes of eliminating Hei Hachi, and Jinpachi's grandson Kazuya, who have both followed the path of evil. Wang opts to face all challengers, giving way to those adept enough to defeat Kazuya. In Tekken 5, set two decades after Jinpachi's death, Wang receives a letter from Jinpachi, who is actually alive and requests Wang's participation in the latest tournament. He loses to Jin Kazama, who then informs him that his purpose is to wipe out the Misima family's cursed blood. Yashimitsu, Shimitsu, introduced in Tekken 2, Angel, voiced by Yukakoyama TTT2, Angel Japanese, Enzuru, Hepburn, Enzuru is a female supernatural entity and opposite of devil. According to Tekken series producer Katsuhiro Harada, she is the representation of what is left of the goodness in Kazuya Mishima after he had been controlled by devil, although she herself is not a part of Kazuya's soul. Her Tekken Tag Tournament 2 profile states that she wields the power to purify things and carries a compassionate and a cruel side. Angel was a palette swap of Devil in Tekken 2 and Tekken Tag Tournament, but receives a distinct design for Tekken Tag Tournament 2 while her fighting style borrowed from Kazuya and Devil Jin. Because of this, she has a laser attack, but it's clearly not a laser from her tiara. It's actually more like a light beam. Angel's existence is likely the results from the first encounters and strange attractions between Kazuya and Jun Kazuma, until Kazuya lost half of his power at time when he unknowingly caused Jun to be pregnant, shortly before Kazuya's defeat by Heihachi in second tournament, then the birth of Jin Kazuma. Big Dusan Voiced by Kanito, Shizawa TK2 tilde TTT, Um Sang Hyun TK5, Kayo Yusei Tsukui Tekken, The Motion Picture, Japanese, Lowell B. Bartholome Tekken, The Motion Picture, English Beak Du San Japanese, by Tu Shen Pekutasen, Hepburn Pekutasen Hangul, Bijusen Beak Dusen, is a man. He accidentally kills his father during a sparring session causing him to destroy several dojos, including Laws, in a fit of rage. He then challenges and loses to Law in the second tournament. In Tekken 3, Beak is presumed dead after encountering Ogre, and his student H. Waring enters the third tournament to avenge his master's supposed death. After his recovery, Beak begins teaching traditional Taekwondo at military bases. H. Waring is drafted into the South Korean military but flees to compete in the fourth tournament, for which he is arrested, but is also informed that Beak is alive. After H. Waring completes his service, he and Beak enter the fifth tournament.
to test H. Waring's skills, but Beak later withdraws after H. Waring is injured in battle and lays unconscious in the hospital for three days. Once he recovers, Beak and H. Waring return to Korea and devote themselves solely to improving their fighting skills. Beak's last playable appearance is in Tekken 6, in which he and H. Waring enter the tournament together once again. Bruce Irvin Voiced by Crispin Freeman T5 Cutscenes Peter Harrell, Jr. Tekken The Motion Picture English Seiji Sasaki Tekken The Motion Picture Japanese Bruce Irvin Japanese Burusu of Ewan Hepburn Burusu Avin is a muscular and Mohawk American Muay Thai practitioner. He lost his parents and older brother in his youth and grew up in a violent environment. He longed to make a difference and became a police officer. He was sent to Japan to investigate the multinational conglomerate Mishima Zabatsu and its leader. Kazuya Mishima, who knew of Bruce's mission and therefore arranged for his flight to crash. Bruce survives the crash, but becomes an amnesiac, and Kazuya hires him as his bodyguard. In Tekken 2, Bruce fought his old police partner Lei Wulong, who had entered the tournament to arrest Kazuya. Bruce was defeated and attempted to escape on another plane, but it somehow exploded later. He is then absent from the series until returning in Tekken 5 as an unlockable character. After becoming reacquainted with Kazuya Mishima in the tournament, Bruce assists Kazuya in taking over G Corporation, a biotech firm. G Corporation then wages war with the Mishima Financial Group, and Bruce, as Kazuya's captain, leads Kazuya's private corps into battle. G Corporation attempts to gain an advantage by placing an enormous bounty on Jin Kazama, which results in the staging of the sixth tournament, in which Bruce is selectable from the start and participates in attempt to capture Jin. Bruce makes a brief appearance in Tekken, the motion picture, serving as Lee Kaelin's bodyguard, and fighting Jack Minus II on a boat en route to the tournament. Brenda Brathwaite of The Escapist, in 2008, included Bruce among many black fighting game characters, such as Mortal Kombat's Jax and Street Fighter's Balrog, as either non-existent or consistent in their overall attributes. Bruce's Tekken 5 render was additionally the lone character illustration. John Kazama slash unknown. Lei Wulong. Roger slash Roger Jr. and Alex. Roger and Alex are comic relief characters who make their first appearances in Tekken 2. They are genetically modified animals created by Dr. Baskanovich under Kazuya's orders. Roger Razia, Roja was crafted from kangaroo DNA, and Alex Aritsukusu, Arikusu from Dromaeosaurid fossil samples. However, Kazuya considered them worthless and wanted to kill them, but they escaped and met Armor King, who schooled them in wrestling. Alex and Roger compete in the second Iron Fist tournament, where John Kazama, a WWWC Wildlife Protection Program officer, is dispatched to arrest Kazuya. She finds Roger and Alex and relocates them to a safe location in Australia. Alex disappears from the series canon thereafter while Roger's story is expanded in Tekken 5, in which he is not playable but appears in the game's cinematic sequences, where he is shown to be married with a son named Roger Jr., who is a kangaroo with human attributes like his father. After Roger is abducted by Miss Hima Zabatsu, Roger Jr. enters the fifth tournament to find him but discovers that he was not abducted but instead secretly living a luxurious lifestyle. In Tekken 6, Roger, again not playable, and his wife are since divorced but she suffers financial hardship without his presence. She and Roger Jr. both participate in the sixth tournament in hopes of establishing financial security. Roger and Alex both appear in the non-canonical Tekken Tag Tournament and Tekken Tag Tournament 2, in which Roger Jr. is playable in Roger's stead. Introduced in Tekken 3, Brian Fury, Crow, Crow is a codename assigned for the lowest ranking members of the Tekken Force. The others, in ascending order, are Falcon, Hawk, and Owl. They appear as enemies in the Tekken Force mini game. 
Crow also appears in Tekken Card Challenge as an unlockable character, as well as in Tekken Tag Tournament 2 as non-playable opponents in the Fight Lab mode. Dr. Biskanovich Eddie Gordo slash Tiger Jackson Forest Law Voiced by Katsuhiro Harada TK3TTT David Vincent TTT2 Forest Law Japanese Hewer Sutoru Hepburn for Sutoru is the good-natured son of martial law who makes his only appearance in the Tekken series as a selectable character replacing Marshall in Tekken 3. He hopes to duplicate his father's greatness as a fighter but is forbidden by Marshall to enter any contests. However, Forrest's friend and sparring partner Paul Phoenix convinces him to enter the third King of Iron Fist tournament behind his father's back, which causes a rift between Paul and Marshall. Forrest is mentioned in Tekken 5 as having been hospitalized after a motorcycle accident, which becomes Marshall's motive for entering the tournament. He is playable in Tekken Tag Tournament, in replacement of Marshall, and in Tekken Tag Tournament, too as a console-exclusive character. Gan Gan Japanese Gan is a diminutive dinosaur who is the eponymous title character of the manga series and media franchise. He makes a one-time, playable guest appearance in the PlayStation version of Tekken 3. Gan never returns in Tekken Tag Tournament. H. Waring Jin Kazama slash Devil Jin Julia Chang slash JC Ling Zio Yu Makujin slash Tetsujin slash Kinjin Ogre slash True Ogre Panda Introduced in Tekken 4 Christy Mintero Combat slash Super Combat DX Combat Japanese Combat Suto Hepburn Kanbato makes his lone series appearance in Tekken 4 as a general-purpose robot created by Lee Kaelan for the fourth tournament, crafted to be the ultimate fighting machine. It is programmed to learn every fighter's style as it progresses through the tournament. It was also used to increase the chance of Lee gaining the Mishima Zaibutsu if Heihachi were to be defeated by Kanbat. Production of the prototype was rushed, resulting in glitches, such as using only one fighting style at a time while switching through them randomly. The robot utilizes some physical attributes of other characters, such as brandishing Yashimitsu's sword or having a long tail similar to King's. Kambat is a playable training dummy in Tekken Tag Tournament 2's Fight Lab tutorial. Lee as his alter ego, Violet completes work on Kambat as part of his Super Kambat DX plan. However, Lee is caught up in the success of his handiwork that he neglects to pay attention to the robot and it explodes. He constructs a second model and then kidnaps Heihachi, Jin, and Kazuya's test subjects until Jin destroys it. Craig Marduk Meharu Harano Voiced by Eriko Fujimaki T4 Ayumi Fujimura TTT2 Meharu Harano Japanese Ping Yi Mei King Hepburn Hirano Maharu is Ling Xiaoyu's best friend and a student of Misima Polytechnical High School. She first appeared as an alternate costume of Xiaoyu in Tekken 4, sharing her storyline, special moves, and win animations. She wears a school uniform identical to Xiaoyu's, has short, dark red hair. Maharu was included in the console version of Tekken Tag Tournament, Two as a free update released by Namco on October 9, 2012. In that game, Meharu has a light blue nail polish on her hands and her feet. Despite her TTT2 outfit, which is similar to bikini-like clothing, she can also be customized to resemble the Tekken 4 outfit. Steve Fox, voiced by Ezra J. Stanley TK4, Guy Perriman TK5 present, in-game voice. Gideon Emery TK6 present, English, Masaki Terasoma 2009 live action film, Yashimasa Hasoya Street Fighter X Tekken, Japanese Steve Fox Japanese, Sutebu Fuatsukusu Hepburn, Sutu. Steve was adopted in his infancy by Emma Cleason Leo's mother until he grew up and was secretly sent. This led to the Super Soldier project being cancelled and at that time Emma resigned to G Corporation. 
Steve is one of the survivors but left a scar on his left arm for the rest of his life from Abel's experiment. Many years later, Steve became a middleweight boxing champion while searching for the truth about his past. While on the run from the Mafia after refusing to throw a fight for them, Steve enters the fourth King of Iron Fist tournament, which he loses but learns that Nina is his mother. During the events of the fifth tournament, Steve succeeds in destroying the Miss Hema Zabitsu's research institute. However, his boxing career dries up due to the World War started by Jin Kazama, but he is invited by martial law and Paul Phoenix to train with them in the martial arts. During his training in a boxing gym, his left arm is hurting while also remembering the experiment he had from Miss Hima Zabutsu and good memories with Emma. He later found Nina in a chapel during her private undercover mission as a bride to assassinate a certain mob, boss later revealed to be a fiancé of Steve's aunt, Anna Williams, from G Corporation, ever since she resigned from Miss Hima Zabutsu after Heihachi's return and Jin's presumable disappearance. Once Steve defeated her, Nina explains to her son everything she knows when she was captured by Zebutsu, led by Heihachi for Abel's experiments. After Steve finally got as much information from his mother as he could, Nina warns him that he will never be her son because she couldn't care less about him. Unfortunately, the Tekken Force are after Nina for leaving Heihachi and being branded a traitor. Steve holds off the Tekken forces allowing Nina to escape. Steve is playable in Tekken 3D Prime Edition, Tekken Tag Tournament 2, Tekken Revolution, and Street Fighter X Tekken. His main costumes feature the red, white, and blue of the Union Jack. British actor and musician Luke Goss played Steve in the 2009 Tekken film. His storyline from the games is changed to his being a retired fighter with no relation to Nina, and instead becoming the friend and mentor of Jin Kazama after Jin defeats Marshall in the tournament. Steve is later killed by jackhammers while breaking Jin and other imprisoned participants out of their holding cells. In 2012, Gilo Gonzalez of FHM listed Steve and Street Fighter character Balrog as one of his ten awesome fantasy fights for Street Fighter X Tekken, Balrog's the Aggressive, In Your Face, no-nonsense Mike Tyson type Steve, on the other hand, is a pretty boy British boxer who likes to weave around and counter at the ideal moment. Samuel Riley of Games Radar ranked Steve fourth in his selection of the seven baddest boxers in video games in 2014, decked out in Union Jack shorts and a tasty pair of golden gloves. Steve favors punishing body strikes to the precision jab, a high-stakes style that meets out as just much pain as it invites. Introduced in Tekken 5 and Tekken 5, Dark Resurrection, Asuka Kazama slash Summer Asuka, Feng Wei, voiced by Hiroshi Tsuchida TK5 gameplay, Chuan Yin Lai TK5 cutscenes and endings Feng Wei Japanese, Feng Wei Hiuanui, Hepburn Feng Wei, Pinyin, Feng Wei was raised as a disciple of the God Fists, style Shen Quan Shinkin, based on Nanquan. Though he was the top student, Feng killed his master after he was scolded for fighting outside the dojo. Feng seeks the secrets of the God Fist scrolls that were stolen by the Misima family, leading to his competing in the fifth King of Iron Fist tournament and his destruction of Asuka Kazama's dojo in the process of his search and he is ultimately successful in retrieving the scrolls. Feng has featured regularly in the series since his Tekken 5 debut. Jinpachi Misima Lily de Rochefort slash Summer Lily Raven Voiced by Jack Merluzzi TK5 Also TK6 TTT2 Gameplay DC Douglas TK5 DR7 Cutscenes and Dialogues Street Fighter X Tekken Kenji Sujimura 2009 Live Action Film Japanese Kanekairo Matsuda Street Fighter X Tekken Japanese Raven Japanese He enters the fifth tournament to seek out those responsible for the event and witnesses an attack on Hanmaru by G Corporation's Jack Minus Four Foot Soldiers while on a mission to look into the company and Nishima Zebutsu as the conglomerates are warring with each other. Raven fights Heihachi after the tournament, 
but leaves in the middle of battle to return to headquarters. Raven was then sent to investigate the Misima Zabuksu once again via the sixth tournament. Raven is a featured character in Tekken 6's scenario campaign story mode, first appearing as an enemy boss defeated by Lars Alexanderson and Alisa Baskanovich. He later helps Alisa and Lars escape from a rampaging Nancy robot. Then Lars' last journeys after Alisa was revealed to be Jin's monitor to spy on Lars. It is also revealed he is in a contact with Lars' friend Taugu and trusted him his tag give it to Lars as a remembrance, should Taugu died in battle. After Jin reveal his main reason on starting a world war, and apparently sacrifice himself to destroy Azazel, Raven and his men found Jin's comatose body and begin to carry him to the UN via chopper. Unfortunately, during Tekken 7 event where Raven's team was carrying Jin's body, they lost the boy, due to the latter's devil, Jean went haywire and took over his body. According to Master Raven's character episode, it is suggested that Raven survived the chopper crash and needs to be retrained. He appears with Yoshimitsu as a playable unit in Street Fighter X Tekken. Raven was portrayed by Darren Henson in the 2009 live-action film Tekken. He defeats Eddie Gordo in the tournament and offers advice to Jin Kazama before the latter's fight with Brian Fury. Sergei Dragunov slash Halloween Dragunov Voiced by Kenishi Morizumi Video Games, Noriyoshi Katsunuma 2009 Live Action Film Sergei Dragunov Japanese, Sarujay Doraganohu, Hepburn, Sarujay Doraganofu, Russian, Sergei Dragunov is a Russian Spetsnaz soldier who practices Sambo and is nicknamed White Angel of Death due to his fight. While investigating a mysterious body found in Siberia, Raganov receives special orders from an unknown party supposedly regarding Devil Jin and enters the fifth tournament to carry them out, but Tekken 6 reveals that his mission is unsuccessful. As a result of the ongoing world war caused by Jin, now the new owner of the Mishima Zabuksu, Dragunov competes in the Sixth King of Iron Fist tournament to capture Jin and bring down the organization. Dragunov shares a rivalry with Raven that includes having inflicted his facial scar. Save for battle grunts, the character has no dialogue in any of his in-game appearances. Dragunov is portrayed by martial artist and actor Anton Kasabov, in the 2009 live-action Tekken film, in which he has no dialogue. He participates in the Iron Fist tournament and is killed in battle by Brian Fury. Introduced in Tekken 6 and Tekken 6, Bloodline Rebellion, Rebellion, Rebellion. Alisa Baskanovich, Panovich, Azazel, voiced by Richard Epar Story Mode, Azazel Japanese, Azizaru Hepburn Azizaru is the main antagonist of Tekken 6 and the source that created the Devil Gene, set to be released from his tomb after the clash of two evil stars Jin and his father Kazuya. He is the physical embodiment of the spirit resonating within Jin's psyche that is affected by his struggles with his father Kazuya, the two evil stars. Azazel has blue-gray skin, a large spiked tail and huge crystalline spikes protruding from his forearms, and wears a ceremonial headdress and loincloth. His offensive attacks range from summoning giant crystal stalagmites from the ground to unleashing scarab beetles onto his opponents. Azazel appears in the final stage of Tekken 6's story mode, brought forth by Jin so he can defeat him and end his own life in the process. Azazel is defeated not by Jin, but by Lars Alexanderson and Raven. But Jin reveals that Azazel can only be permanently vanquished by someone carrying the devil gene. Jin powers up with his devil form, making him immune to Azazel's attacks. Jin kills Azazel by punching his fist straight through his chest, but both fall and disappear into the temple ruins. Despite losing its physical form, the weakened essence of Azazel's soul is still alive, and immediately being sealed by Zafana into her orb, at cost of having her left arm cursed with its power. The more it suppressed too long, the more Azazel's soul recovering and stronger, possibly reviving him, 
unless Akezu's next last battle against Jin after murdering Heihachi had to be stopped. When Tekken 7 occur, Safina sought Claudio to prevent the possible return of Azazel. Azazel has received critical reception for his difficulty as a final boss. Lucas Sullivan of Games Radar included him in his 2014 selection of 12 unfair fighting game bosses. Hated that mutated old guy Tekken 5 boss Jin Patchy, ho oh here, have a fire-breathing crystal dragon that's as tall as the screen. Rick Marshall of MTV said in 2009, as far as boss battles go, Azazel is the most difficult the franchise has ever offered even on easy mode. Steven Nanny of What Culture named Azazel the number one worst fighting game boss in 2013. Understanding the game mechanics mean almost nothing when it comes to fighting Azazel particularly when he has his advantage in defense. His moves are fairly difficult to sidestep and can counter-attack through his own blocking. Eric Nayer of GameSpy wrote in his 2009 review of the game's PlayStation Portable release as Azel, Tekken 6's official nemesis, is perhaps the most badly designed, frustrating to play against, and overall worst boss ever. Bob Richards slash Slim Bob slash Summer Bob Voiced by Patrick Sates TK6 Present, Sutamu Isob Street Fighter X Tekken, Japanese making his debut in Tekken 6, Robert Richards Japanese, Robotoro Chiyazu, Hepburn, Roboto Richezu, simply known as Bob, is an American martial artist who participated in numerous fighting competitions but lacked power against law. He therefore fattened himself up to the point of morbid obesity while maintaining his previous speed and entered the sixth tournament to silence his doubters. A thin version of the character, called Slim Bob, is included in Tekken Tag Team Tournament 2 as a download, while the original Bob was added to the roster of the 2016 Tekken 7 update. Reception to the character has been mixed, mainly due to his design. Robert Workman of Game Daily ranked Bob the 10th ugliest game character in 2008. If the bright red shirt covering the gigantic frame isn't insulting enough, he also has a bleach blonde mop on his head. In 2010, Games Radar proposed a fantasy fight between Bob and Street Fighter's Rufus for Street Fighter X Tekken. How to totally complex ranked Bob among the 25 most baddest fat guys in games in 2011. In 2012, Jeff Markufava of Game Informer deemed Bob one of the most ridiculous Tekken characters. Bob is from America. Bob is also morbidly obese. That's pretty much all the thought Namco put into Bob. Lars Alexanderson, Leo Cleason, voiced by Veronica Taylor, TK6 English, TTT2 Present Grunts, Philip Ziasang, TTT2 German, TK7 Leo Cleason Japanese, Ryokurizen, Hepburn, Ryokurizen, is a Bajikwin practitioner from Germany whose father was a world famous spelunker and whose mother, MAG Corporation executive. Though the father disappeared during an expedition, Leo still wanted to follow her career path until the mother was murdered by an unknown assailant. When the police abruptly call off the investigation, Leo opt to seek the truth alone, during which the G Corporation's Kazuya Mishima materializes as a person of interest. It was at this time that Leo learned of the Mishima Zabutsu sponsoring the King of Iron Fist tournament, at which Mishima planned to appear, and Leo decides to enter the competition in hopes of gaining access to him. In the Tekken Tag Tournament, to ending, Leo infiltrates a train owned by G Corporation and learns that the mother was involved with Mishima Zabutsu 20 years before, heading a project called Hybrid Gene. The Tekken Tag 2 ending story in regarding of the mother's former job as a researcher in Zabutsu is continued in Tekken 7. In Tekken comic, Leo is male and Lily Rochefort's bodyguard, accompanying her to Osaka to shoot a martial arts film. Namco attempted to cater to female players with the character's shortened name and ambiguous design of short blonde hair and non-revealing clothing. Series producer Katsuhiro Harada revealed Leo's full name Ilyanmor at the 2011 Tekken Blood Vengeance premiere in Cologne, Germany. He, however, did a comment on the character saying that Leo was female during developing. 
This, however, caused fans quite debate concerning Leo's gender, as they have been misunderstood to think that Leo was officially confirmed as a female since that TTT2 provided Leo with a bikini and a male surfer suit. In most sources, Katsuhiro Harada redacted his statement, saying that Leo was conceived as a female character with the name of Ilyanor Cleese in Japanese, Irianor Akurizen, Hepburn Irianor Akurizen, but since that Leo looked like a male in the initial concept arts, he decided to change the concept before the release of arcade version of Tekken he stated that the video about Leo's gender revealing in Germany has been modified by being cut back and forth. He confirmed that Leo's sex and gender always have been unknown, and that the truth was still in the darkness. He explained also the TTT2 swimsuits situation, saying that they are for those who see Leo as female and for those who see Leo as male. He then affirmed that he's frustrated because Leo is always translated, Making Tom Galter of Games Raider said in a 2012 feature on the Tekken characters, choose this character if anyone tries to tell you that video games are all about enforcing restrictive gender binaries. Miel Caballero Rojo, voiced by Liam O'Brien TK6, TTT2 Present English, Grunts De Chai Endo 2009 Live Action Film, Hector Gary TTT2 Present Spanish Dialogues, at the age of 15. Spanish brawler Miel Caballero Rojo Japanese, Maidru Caballero Rojo Hepburn, Maidru Caballero Rojo was kicked. He ran away and sought sanctuary inside a bar where his sister, with whom he was extremely close, would visit him in secret. However, she is later killed on her wedding day after a group of Misima Zebutsu fighter jets launch an airstrike on the church where the ceremony was being held. Miel's investigation leads to the sixth tournament in order to seek answers from the corporation CEO, Jin Kazama. Unfortunately, Jin suddenly disappeared. Miel's life purpose to kill him also disappears. From that point forward, Miel began to wander like a living specter from battle-torn town to another. Until one day, he is confronted by now ex zebutsu leader Jin, with Miel's purpose to kill him rise again. However, Jin held back and let Miel finish. But Miel refused and spared, telling Jin that he will kill him once Jin has found hope without dying earlier yet. His early appearances resemble that of a bullfighter, but his design was simplified in Tekken 7 to an open red shirt and green combat trousers. He has no formal training in the martial arts. In Tekken 7, Miel's rage art is somewhat unique in that the camera switches to a first-person perspective from the opponent's point of view, giving Miel's violent beatdown a particularly brutal feel. Miel has a minor role in the 2009 Tekken live-action film and was played by Roger Huerta. He is defeated in the tournament by Jin. Nancy ME847J Nancy ME-847J is a massive robotic security unit under the command of Jin Kazama. It is very difficult to destroy and possesses an arsenal of missiles and lasers. Nancy only appears in Tekken 6's arcade mode and time attack mode as a bonus round battle before the player fights Jin. In the story mode, the robot is controllable in one level of the story mode when the player attempts infiltration of G Corporation's headquarters. Steve West of Cinema Blend said about the character's fighting style, Nancy doesn't react like a typical Tekken opponent. Rather than block your puny attempts to damage it, the robot will simply attack you whenever it feels like it. Dale North of Destructoid commented in 2008, Where do Namco get these character names, Bob and Nancy? That sounds like a middle American suburban couple. Zafina Voiced by Lyle Wilkerson, Zafina Japanese, Zahuina, Hepburn, Zafina is a Middle Eastern woman, probably of Egyptian descent. She was born into an ancient bloodline of dispellers of evil and possesses spiritual powers. Raised as a warrior and serving as her clan's assassin, she uses her spiritual gifts on the side working as an astrologist. Safina is tasked with guarding a sealed royal tomb that believed to maintain the clan's well-being, and she has defeated all who have tried to infiltrate it. 
She prophesies the clash of two evil, stars Jin Kazama and Kazuya Misima, who will bring about the world's end. Safana therefore travels to the far east, where Jin and Kazuya are predicted to meet. In Tekken 6's scenario campaign story mode, Safina allies herself with Lars Alexanderson and Raven against the Tekken force, and gives them the location of Azazel's temple. In Tekken 7, she has a new design and has gained possession of Azazel's orb as seen on Devil Jin's Tekken 6 ending, giving her Azazel-like powers to the hand she's holding, as the orb seems to be still holding the demon's essence. She sought Claudio for an assistant to suppress the seal of Azazel's essence from his possible return. Introduced in Tekken Tag Tournament 2, Sebastian. Voiced by Serge Burrier TTT2 Sebastian Sevasochian. Sevasochian is Lily's butler who made his debut as a playable character in Tekken Tag Tournament 2 as part of a free update on October 9, 2012. He previously appeared as an unplayable character in Lily's Tekken 5, Dark Resurrection, and Tekken 6 endings. Sebastian also appears alongside Lily in the game Digimon World Re-Digitize with his trained Ingemin. Sebastian utilizes Lily's move set, sharing many of her moves including the ones from Tekken 5, Dark Resurrection, that were removed in the current releases. Introduced in Tekken Revolution Eliza Eliza Eriza, Eriza is a vampire who made her debut in the free-to-play spin-off Tekken Revolution. She was one of the ten character choices in a poll to determine the new character edition for the game. She was eventually voted number one most wanted character, ahead of sexy female Tekken Force and Shinkamiya at San Diego Comic Con 2013, ensuring her inclusion to the game. According to her backstory, Eliza is a is is a is is a is a is a is a is a is a is or Eliza is a is is a powerful and immortal vampire who had existed since more than one thousand years ago. One day, after escaping from one of the members of ancient times' serious organization, whom Claudio Serafino descended to. With the intention of taking a nap inside her coffin, she accidentally fell into a deep sleep for hundreds of years. In present-day Monaco, the Rochefort family built a mansion above her coffin, thus imprisoning her, which was also meant for her shelter from being chased by each descendant of the ancient times serious members. She eventually woke up and managed to escape recently and plan an exact revenge on the present-day serious organization. Eliza still has difficulty in controlling her sleep and will fall asleep even in the middle of fights, however. She can potentially recover her health while doing so. Tekken 7 is her main series playable debut, where she utilizes a similar playstyle to Akuma from Street Fighter, such as having 2D area fighting game mechanics like jumping attacks and special cancels, and Street Fighter-styled Super Meter, referred to as a blood gauge. Her sleeping mechanic has also been reworked, allowing her to build her blood gauge rather than recovering health. Eliza's fighting style incorporates several supernatural moves, such as teleportation. She can also shoot a grounded energy wave that goes straight, although unlike Jinpachi's fireball, it is blockable. Introduced in Tekken 7 and Tekken 7 Fated Retribution Akuma Voiced by Takatora Akuma, known in Japan as Gauki Haogui, Goki, is a Japanese martial artist who has mastered the dark powers of the Satsui no Hado, seeking to increase his own strength and defeat the most powerful opponents in the world. Hailing from Capcom's Street Fighter series, Akuma makes a special guest appearance in Tekken 7, Fated Retribution. In the story, Kazumi saves his life when he suffers an unknown critical injury. Shortly thereafter, Kazuyumi asks him to find and kill Heihachi, and Kazuya should she perish. Akuma agrees, claiming that this will settle the debt that he owes her. Akuma retains many of his abilities from the Street Fighter games, such as his Gohadoken, Shakunetsu Hadoken, Gushoryuken, Tatsumaki Zankakiyaku, Sanku Hadoken, Haikishu, and Ashura Senku, 
along with Mesetsu Gu Hadu as his super move, and Shinshun Gaku Satsu as his rage art, which was the same 1000. Akuma is the first character to possess an exclusive game mechanic in the form of the EX slash super meter and focus attack from Street Fighter Roman IV, which replaces his rage drive. This meter mechanic was also given to Eliza from Tekken Revolution following her introduction into the game. He is the only guest character in the story mode of Tekken 7. It was revealed before Akuma was announced to guest appearing in Tekken 7, the protagonist of Darkstalker's trilogy series Morrigan Eastland was originally meant to appear in the Sid game instead of him. However, Harada and his team gave up and chose Akuma instead. Claudio Serafino Rufino, voiced by Diego Baldoin 7, Kosuk Toriami Pachai Slot T4 Claudio Serafino Curideos Rahuino. Curideo Serafino is a white clad man hailing from Italy. He is a leader of a secret anti devil organization in combating the devil genes threat, known as Archers of Sirius. Empowered with a serious magic, he has tattoos around his left eye and black tapes covering his right arm, which can project and shoot blue lights slash boost during battles. He is one of the playable characters in the first location tests of Tekken 7. During an interview with Haroda, it was said that Claudio was created to counter the Devil Gene's reign, thus would play an important role in the game. The reason behind his organization's secret from the public and a sudden disclosure is not yet known at this point. Sometime later, Claudio's organization was approached by the Mishima Zabatsu, led by Heihachi Mishima, to join their conglomerate. However, the archers refused, and the Mishima Zabatsu continues to attempt to persuade them. Having noticed some suspicious acts by Heihachi and his Zabatsu, Claudio was prompted to investigate the reasons behind the Mishima Zabutsu's persuasion, even though his uneasy service with Heihachi is temporary. During his alliance with the Mishima Zabutsu, he met Ling Xiaoyu. After learning about her connection to Jin Kazama, Claudio decides to use her as bait to capture Jin. He later gains an assistant from a fortune teller, Safina, who's currently cursed by a warb of a fully weakened Azazel in order to prevent the monster's full return through stopping a continued war between Jin and Kazuya, after the latter killed Heihachi in their last one-on-one -on -one battle. Fakamram Voiced by a Fichit Samatsiri Tai, Fichati Smufkiriai Fakamram Tai. Fakamram is a tall, tattooed, strong and muscular man from Thailand. He is a legendary Muay Thai champion and the national hero of Thailand. The scars he received were a result from being stricken by lightning at age 12, with Fakamram somehow surviving and obtaining superhuman abilities, as well as growing over two meters tall. He eventually becomes a champion at the age of 18 and grows into an honorable family man who cares for his family, including his daughter who looks up to him. Unfortunately, at the age of 24, his life was to take a dramatic turn for the worse. Corrupt officials attempt to lure and use Fakamram as a slave for their illegal activities, even taking his family hostage after Fakamram is falsely arrested for defending himself against and killing his would-be assassins, who also rigged his last official match. These events cause him to become more cynical and deluded by his country's corruptions. When the war between the Misima Zabatsu and G Corporation occurs four years later, the corrupt government dispatches Fakamram primarily to eliminate the Zabutsu by enlisting him for the seventh King of Iron Fist tournament. Fakamram hopes to use this as an opportunity to save his family, should he win liberty once and for all. Peace Howard Voiced by Richard Epcar Dialogue Kong Kiwata Gameplay Geese Howard Jisu Hawado Jisu Hawado is an American martial artist who serves as the reigning crime boss of the city of South Town. Originating in SNK fighting game series Fatal Fury, Art of Fighting and the King of Fighters, he appears as the second guest character to be included in Tekken 7 and the second downloadable fighter for the console and PC versions after Eliza. In the trailer for his addition to the cast, DC's disembodied voice calls out, 
to a meditating Heihachi Mishima, taunting him with the suggestion that he surrender his plan of worldwide conquest before geese due to the world being too big for the old Mishima to control and presumably predicting his death at the hands of his son and now G Corporation CEO Kazuya. In a similar vein to fellow guest character, Akuma, whose gameplay uniquely incorporates its own version of Street Fighter Roman Force Focus Attack and EX slash Super Meter mechanics, Gisi's gameplay mechanics derive from his appearance in the King of Fighters Roman 14, utilizing his own unique MAX mode to access specific EX moves. Like Akuma, Geese does not possess a rage drive, but similar to how the former can expend his super meter to perform the Mesetsu Gu Hadu, Geese has access to two super moves climax parts in Koef Roman 14, which are Raging Storm and Regu Repukin. Geese is also the only character to have two rage arts, his first being Rashomon, now initiated with a regular attack instead of a counter throw, and the second his infamous 10 button combination input super deadly rave. Prior to the Season 2 update, he was the only character to have a wall bounce mechanic. Gigas Gigas Gigasu Gigas is a hawking, red-skinned humanoid who appears to have cybernetics attached to his otherwise nude body. His fighting style is destructive impulse. He was one of the characters whose existence was leaked before being officially revealed as the second new character added post-launch of Tekken 7. Gigas was revealed to be created by a research team in the development of biotechnological weapons. Gigas was sent in the tournament to test his fighting capabilities. It is hinted in both his own and Katarina's endings that he might be Katarina Al's adoptive father, who is kidnapped by G Corp and mutated into Gigas. Josie Rizzle, voiced by Ananda Jacobs, Josie Rizzle Ziyashi Rizaru. Josie Rizaru is a young woman from the Philippines. She wears a yellow top, a blue miniskirt, and a red rabbit ear like hair accessory. Josie practices Eskrima, the native martial art and the national sport of her home country, formerly known as Arnie's, combined with kickboxing reminiscent of Yan, an indigenous kickboxing martial art. She lacks the characteristic sticks used in Eskrima, instead fighting completely unharmed. Josie's name bears a very close resemblance to Jose Rizal, the national hero of the Philippines. Shortly after Josie was introduced to the public on March 29, 2015, she became a trending topic on Twitter with many Filipino fans expressing generally positive reactions. Just two days after Josie was officially announced, Someone claiming to be an official from the Philippine National Center for Culture and the Arts told the Philippine media that they plan to take steps to correct any wrong impression Josie Rizal may have given about Dr. Rizal and the Philly. However, three days later in CCA Legal Counsel, Trixie Cruz Angeles clarified that the agency had yet to issue any position on the matter in a post she made in her personal Facebook page stating the NCCA has not asked for the in fact, the NCCA has not taken cognizance of the issue nor issued an opinion. If you've been reading that website, unders. The name of our chairman is Prof. Philippe de Leon, Jr. 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 Also, matters pertaining to national heroes are within the jurisdiction of the National Historical Commission of the Philippines. Josie was designed by character designer Mary Shimazaki, well known for her work in the Bayonetta series, who also worked on the design of the final boss of Tekken 7, Kazumi Mishima. Before her official announcement, Josie was first revealed in a leaked arcade data discovered by players, who also found data relating to other characters yet to be added at the time. Josie was a big crybaby, from a young age, unlike her parents who were fans of martial arts. They insisted she also train in martial arts, which she initially refuses, but eventually she reluctantly agrees to her parents' expectations. However, she is unable to get over her crybaby nature whilst she undergoes training in kickboxing. After Josie grew more accustomed to her training, she became a professional kickboxer 
and a model to help get her household's finances on track until a large typhoon struck their home. When the Missy Mizabutsu sends the Tekken force, led by Kuma, to give relief aids to the typhoon victims in her ravaged country, Josie aspires to become the member of the Tekken force. She eventually decides to join the Tekken force by taking an employment examination, with Kuma as her final examiner. Katarina Alves Voiced by Ties Duris Katarina Alves Katarina Uvusu Katarina Ovisu is a Brazilian woman who practices the art of savate. She is described as a sassy, mouth talker, as well as a beginner-friendly character, with simple strings to execute combos. Along with Claudio, she is one of the characters available in the first location tests of Tekken 7. She is currently searching for her missing adoptive father, who happens to be G Corporation's brainwashed monster known as Giddies, as seen on her and Giddies ending. Katarina seems to be very confident in her abilities as a fighter, alongside her cocky attitude, her fighting pose has her guard totally lowered contrary to a traditional savate stance, and her posture is completely relaxed. Kazumi Mishima slash Devil Kazumi Voiced by Yumi Hara Kazumi Mishima Sandao Yimei, Mishima Kazumi Ni Hachejo Tayao, is married to Heihachi and the mother of Kazuya. She serves as the final boss in the arcade mode of Tekken 7, but was eventually replaced with Akuma when certain conditions have been met. Before Tekken 7, she was only alluded to twice, once in Heihachi's stage in Tekken 2, in which her and Heihachi's names are written on the floorboard of the temple, in the style of Eigasa, a romantic expression to show love between couples, as well as in the non-canon OVA Tekken, the motion picture, in which she is mentioned to have died shortly after giving birth to she is seen in a photo inside a locket, cradling baby Kazuya. The debut trailer of Tekken 7 features Kazumi appearing in person for the first time, with her and Heihachi's Eigasa stylized name also shown. Prior to becoming the seventh time release character added to Tekken 7, her human form was playable, yet her devil form remains unplayable. You can also play her devil form as a cheat. The opponent Kazumi will be in her human form, even if you beat her once. Because of this, even when players set the round number from the game options, the fifth stage will be two instead of one. Kazumi's fighting style is Hachijo style karate, which is very similar to the Mishima style karate as practiced by the rest of her family, with additional tiger summoning and levitating ability akin to Jinpachi Mishima. As a final boss, Kazumi is fought in two phases, Upon beating her once, she transforms into a stronger phoenix-like white devil form and remains that way for the duration of the stage. In her devil form, besides having the original devil's powers, a third-eyed devil blaster and wings her tiger summoning ability is enhanced, and the tiger's color itself changes to white. Upon beating her once as devil Kazumi, rather than transforming into a stronger white devil form, she fights back randomly. In the story, Kazumi first meets Heihachi when she visits Jinpachi's dojo to train with him. Both Heihachi and Kazumi grow closer and eventually marry, with Kazumi giving birth to Kazuya. Five years later, Kazumi suddenly grows sick, her illness passes quickly, but Kazumi begins behaving differently, exhibiting signs of a split personality, likely due to the awakening of her devil gene. During this time, Kazumi saves Akuma's life. After he recovers, Kazumi asks Akuma to find and kill Heihachi, and Kazuya should she perish. Akuma agrees, claiming that this will settle the debt that he owes Kazumi. Many days later, Kazumi suddenly attempts to kill Heihachi, revealing that the reason she married him is because her clan foresaw his attempted world domination in the future, and sent her to kill him. However, Heihachi proves stronger and, realizing the woman he loved is gone, regretfully kills her in self-defense. Leroy Smith Voiced by unknown Leroy Smith Leroy Sumisu Leroy Sumisu is an African-American martial artist from New York City. During his childhood, escalating gang violence leads to the Big Apple War, 
a massive battle between rival gangs that results in many civilian casualties, including Leroy's family. Leroy is also injured in the conflict, falling into a river and being washed out to sea before being found by a merchant ship. With nowhere to return to, Leroy travels the world as a trader before settling in Hong Kong to learn the Wing Chun martial art. Nearly a half century later, Leroy returns to New York to take revenge on the gangsters and the Misima Zabatsu led by Heihachi Misima, whom he learns were responsible for the events leading to the Big Apple War. He also has a pet pit bull dog named Sugar that can assist Leroy in his battles. Unfortunately, due to the news of Heihachi's death at the hands of Lee Kaolan's adoptive brother Kazuya Misima cancelled the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7, what become of Leroy's current status is uncertain. Lydia Sobiska Voiced by Alexandra Noica Lydia Sobiska Rydia Sobisuka, Rydia Sobisuka is a Polish carried coon who became Prime Minister at young age. She was first announced at Japan Fighting Game Publishers Roundtable 2, 2021 as both second and last fighter of Tekken 7 Season 4. Her grandfather was once a prime minister of their country before her. The reason she became her grandfather's successor at young age immediately is because her father was killed in a helicopter crash during a time when someone attempted to assassinate her grandfather, thus the main reason she entered a political world. Due to having had spending too long with martial arts prior to entering political world, she sometimes slips into speaking like she is in the dojo whilst on the phone with her aide during her political career. After receiving a letter from Heihachi, but knowing he would be planning a hostile takeover on her country, she enters the King of Iron Fist tournament to defend her people. However, despite the news of Heihachi's death cancelling the tournament, Poland's current fate is unknown. But most likely is saved when Lydia receiving news from Lee about the devil gene and its relation. Lucky Chloe Master Raven Voiced by Sorcha Kisho Master Raven Masuterevan Masuterevan is a female superior of the original Raven, debuted in Tekken 7, fated retribution through time release. In a battle she carries a sword similar to Yashimitsu. Negan Smith Voiced by Jeffrey Dean Morgan Negan Smith Negan Sumisu Negan Sumisu is a fictional character from the Image Comics comic book series The Walking Dead. He is the leader of the Saviors, a group of roughly 1,000 survivors in the sanctuary that enslaves other survivor communities and forces them to pay tribute to him. He fights using Lucil, a baseball that wrapped in barbed wire, named after his late wife. Negan is the fourth guest character to appear in Tekken 7, and was added as part of the second season of downloadable content. Negan is also the second guest character to originate from a comic after Gone in Tekken 3, and the first guest character who was not created by a Japanese publisher. He is modeled after and voiced by Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who portrays the character on the television series. Noctis Lucis Kalem, voiced by Tatsuhisa Suzuki Noctis Lucis Kalem, Nakutesu Rusha Suchiramu, Nakutesu Rusha Sucheramu, Noct Nakuto Nakuto for short, the Prince of the Kingdom of Lucis, and the main protagonist of Square Enix's role playing game Final Fantasy Roman XV. He appears as the third guest character in Tekken 7. In the trailer for his appearance in the game, he is one of Lars' acquaintances, and the two enjoy time fishing together. In Tekken 7, rather than being voiced by English cast, such as Nocti's English voice actor Ray Chase, he and the rest of Final Fantasy cast being voiced in Japanese instead. Nocti's gameplay is slightly different amongst both the regular and guest fighters of Tekken 7. He is a standard Tekken-style character who can also utilize the meter-style characters Akuma, Eliza, Geese jump in attacks. His main power is to summon a variety of different weapons during battle, while utilize some magic attacks and artillery. Fellow Final Fantasy Roman XV characters Ignis Scientia, Gladio Amicitia, Prompto Argentum, Cindy Arum Sid Sapphire, 
and a Chicago make non-playable cameo appearances on Nocti's home stage, the Hammerhead Gas Station. Shaheen Voiced by Fetty Rafai Shaheen Japanese, Shiahin Romanized, Shahin Arabic, Asachin Romanized, Shahin is a Saudi Arabian man wearing a shamag and agle on his head. He also wields a scimitar around his waist. Shaheen was designed by illustrator Ninin, one of several character designers and illustrators employed to create character designs for Tekken 7, with help from community feedback on social media, particularly those from Saudi Arabia. The character drew attention from the Middle Eastern mainstream press, being featured in publication medias from several countries, including Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. Shaheen is a bodyguard for a private military company, tasked with protecting key figures in the world. It is said that under his guard, no one has come to be attacked. However, one day a friend to Shaheen, who was a top figure in the oil industry, was mysteriously found dead. Although it was reported as an accidental death, Shaheen always had his doubts. Sometime later, G Corporation acquires the PMC employing him and everyone that Shaheen was previously familiar with ended up resigning after the acquisition. Having figured that all of this was too much of a coincidence, Shaheen decided to investigate and find out the truth of what is really going on by confronting the corporation's CEO and a suspect of his, Kazuya. After Shaheen defeats Kazuya and offers to make peace instead of taking revenge, in honor of his deceased friend, Kazuya refuses the truce and flies away in his devil form, to Shaheen's surprise. Now realizing how abominable Kazuya introduced in Tekken Mobile, Isak. Isak is a free-to-play character in Tekken Mobile. His nationality and fighting style are unspecified. He has short blonde hair, wears a jacket with lightly shredded jeans. Revenant Revenant is a non-playable boss. He is a paranormal being masked in heavy gear and comes from an unknown country. He is an enemy of Kazuya and mimics his fighting style. Rodeo Bo Rodeo Montana is an all-American fighter. He was a star athlete in college, captain of the football team, and a military soldier with a flawless combat record. While in the army, his squad was ambushed by Revenant, leaving them with their life force stripped. He soon becomes a fighter to exact revenge on Revenant, and in turn restore his comrades' lives. Ruby Ruby is a female biker who has a fighting style similar to Paul Phoenix. Tiger Miyagi Tiger Miyagi is a kung fu fighter from an unspecified part of Asia. His first outfit has him with plated long black hair, while his second outfit gives him very short hair. Yu Yu is a female Asian fighter who practices generic martial arts. She heavily resembles Pai Chan. Non-playable characters The following lists the non-playable characters in PC that appear in the series. While they do not participate in the tournament or even are not fighters in any way, they still influence the story particularly in its characters. Asuka's father is father. The father of Asuka Kazama and a relative to Jun Kazama a.k.a. Mr. Kazama is a martial art master who practices Kazama-style traditional martial arts which he teaches at his family's dojo located near Osaka. He also taught this martial art to his daughter, Asuka, who is an assistant teacher at his dojo. He is a relative of Jun Kazama, although to what extent their relationship goes is unknown. Before the events of Tekken 5, the arrogant Godfist Kung Fu prodigy, Feng Wei traveled through Japan to find the God Fist Scroll, destroying many dojo along the way. The Kazama's dojo was one of his targets, as Feng easily defeated Asuka's father and his students before destroying their dojo, causing him to be incapitated. This incident caused Asuka to participate in the fifth tournament, to take revenge on Feng. While he is unseen in the main video game series, he does make an appearance in the non-canonical Tekken comic, set during the events of Tekken 6. Dr. Abel 
Dr. Abel Dakutoru Aburu, Dakutoru Aburu is a mad scientist who works for Misima Zabuksu alongside his rival, Dr. Baskanovich. He revives the deceased Brian Fury by reanimating him into a cyborg. Abel sent Brian to Tournament 3 to collect mechanical data from Baskanovich for his plans to build a cyborg army. After the second tournament, Abel abandoned Brian and attempted to kill a would-be G Corporation's scientist Jane with his satellite death ray, seeing her as a potential threat to his evil plan. However, a Jackmanist too whom Jane met shielded her from his attacks, thus destroying him instead. When Jane break into the Misima Zabuksu's labs and revives her Jackmanist too into Gun Jack, Abel attempt to kill both of them twice. Both Jane was able to implement it an energy shield on Gun Jack thereby saving their lives. Later, Brian was in a state of despair when his life was expiring after Dr. Abel left him died. Between Tekken 2 and Tekken 3, Abel was also involved on experimenting children into child soldiers using devil gene research under Hayhatch's orders with a British boxer Steve Fox is one of the surviving children whose deaths had been faked in hiding from Hayhatch's watch for years thanks to the former Zabutsu researcher Emma Cleason, Leo Cleason's now late. At the end of Tournament 4, Brian found Abel and punched him across the room, presumably kills him. As Abel's death ray is now belonged to Misima Zabutsu during his time working with Heihachi, it is last used by Heihachi to record Kazuya's battle in his devil form against Akuma at G Corporation Tower Worldwide, then use it to kill them. However, both Kazuya and Akuma survived the blast, whereas Kazuya uses his devil blaster. Emma Cleason Voiced by Mary Elizabeth McGlynn Emma Cleason Imakurizen, Imakurizen is the mother of Leo. She worked as an executive of G Corporation. Her husband disappeared when Leo was still a child. Sometime before the events of Tekken 6, Emma was murdered by an unknown assailant who is suspected to be sent by her superior, Kazuya Misima, thus sparking Leo's quest to take revenge against Kazuya. In both Leo and Steve Fox's endings in Tekken Tag Tournament 2, it is revealed that Emma once worked for Misima Zabutsu 20 years ago, and that she was the supervisor of the hybrid gene program conducted by Heihachi Misima which consisted of injecting subjects who could withstand the fatal impact of the devil gene. One of the subjects, Steve, then known as Antone, was taken in by Emma, who reported his disappearance as death. After briefly taking care of him, Emma left Steve to be adopted in England. Hawk, Falcon, and Owl Hawk, Falcon, and Owl are codenames assigned for the lowest-ranking members of the Tekken Force. They appear as enemies in the Tekken Force mini-game in both Tekken 3. In Tekken 3 you can play it with a cheat. Jane Voiced by Iri Sendai Tekken, the motion picture Japanese, Rumiko Varnst TK5, Erin Fitzgerald TK6, Jessica Schwartz Tekken, the motion picture English Jane Zine, Jen is a scientist working for G Corporation. As a child, she was orphaned in the war zone, and was left in the care of Jack Minnis too, who defied his orders to raise her. However, he was eventually destroyed by an explosion, and Jane, then a scientist, determined to rebuild her friend. Nineteen years later, she developed Gun Jack and sent him to the third tournament to retrieve Jack Minnis II's memories. The two managed to break the Misima Zabuksu's labs, but were attacked by Dr. Abel, who destroyed Gun Jack when he attempted to protect Jane. Two years later, Jane helped the construction of hundreds of Jack Minnis IV robots with the intention of assassinating Kazuya Misima, which she did not involve and spared by Kazuya for his use. Subsequently, she developed an upgrade to Jack Minnis IV called Jack Minnis V, whom she sent to participate in the fifth tournament for testing. At the end of the tournament, Jane managed to retrieve the fight data to complete the model. However, when she heard that the Misima Zabuksu was building Nancy M. E. 847J, a complex robot designed for warfare, she built an upgraded Jack model, Jack Minus 6, to counter the robot. Jane later led a development team to create another upgraded model, Jack Minus 7. 
Another research team within the company created a bio-enhanced superhuman, Gigas, whom some saw as more than capable of replacing the Jack series as G Corporation's premier weapon. Both teams decided to enter their weapons in the seventh tournament. The journalist, voiced by Josh Keller, the journalist is the narrator of the Tekken 7 story mode. An unnamed journalist, who lost his family and home during the war between Misima Zabutsu and G Corporation, researches the Misima clan during the events of King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. He is currently living in a small hotel afterwards, with some of his acquaintances managed to find the darker secrets within G Corp's schematics without being spotted by their watch. Seeking to know the answers behind this endless Misima conflict war, the journalist went to the library to know more about, starting from Jinpachi Misima's coup against his greedy son Heihachi Misima. In the same year, after Heihachi killed his wife Kazumi Misima Nihachi Jo, then throws a young vengeful Kazuya Misima off the cliff, which he managed. He is later recruited by Lee Kalan to join Lars Alexanderson rebel squad, with the journalist's help. He harbors hatred towards Jin Kazama, who had started the global war. The journalist was even prepared to kill Jin, but agreed to let him live on the request of Lars, so he could stop the war for some good reason. On the next day, he, Lars, Lee, and Alice Baskanovich are watching Kazuya's devil form being broadcast live while fighting Akuma at G Corporation's rooftop by Heihachi. Shortly before Heihachi recently activate Dr. Abel's death ray on the said building, Kazuya and Akuma fought, presumably kills them, with the public began to... After Kazuya destroys Dr. Abel's death ray, with the public regain their trust towards G Corp and redeeming the Zabutsu as the villain once again, he seeks to interview with Heihachi and is scheduled to meet him at the secret location on the small hut as Heihachi finally reveals to the journalist about the dark secrets of the Mishima family and how he killed his wife. After the interview, he was taken away by two of his Tekken force to get him out of the hut and being picked up by Lars soon after. He remains with Lars, Alisa, and Lee at another branch of Violet Systems to watch the final battle between Heihachi and his son, Kazuya Mishima, at the Volcanic. The journalist is last seen typing about the confrontation between both a father and a son before he turns off the lantern once he's done typing his report to end the story mode and the credits will roll. He hopes that the information will be able to reveal the truth, though at a more peaceful time instead. Legendary Capoeira Master The legendary Capoeira Master is the grandfather of Christy Montero and the mentor of Eddie Gordo. Before the events of Tekken 3, Eddie willingly imprisoned himself after he was framed by Kazuya for the murder of his parents, where he shared his cell with the master. He taught Eddie the art of capoeira during their incarceration. After Eddie was released, the legendary capoeira master who still had to serve two more years in prison left a message for him to meet and teach his granddaughter, Christy, capoeira. He was eventually released two years later, but had become a frail old man. When taken to medical exam, the doctor told Christy and Eddie that he was suffering from a normally incurable sickness that gave him only six months of life expectancy, but also told that a cure could be found with the technology of Misima Zabutsu. Thus, his cure became Christy and Eddie's primary reasons for entering the fifth tournament. At the end, neither Christy nor Eddie were able to win, and Eddie, in desperation, took his master to Japan while he joined the Misima Zebutsu's ranks with the promise from its leader, Jin Kazama, that he would help him curing his master. Although Jin really did keep Eddie's promise, it turns out not even Misima Zebutsu's technology can save the legendary Capoeira master. Thus, without any other option to let the old master die at the end of the tournament for Eddie and Christy to move on their life. Richard Williams Voiced by Paul St. Peter Richard Williams Richiado Wirimuzu. Richiado Wirimuzu is a former assassin, the father of Nina and Anna Williams, and the maternal grandfather of Steve Fox. He taught his children various assassination martial arts. Richard died sometime after the events of the first Tekken, 
which further strengthened the rivalry between his children, even after he left his final wish that the two would reconcile. His cause of death is unknown, although in the non-canon OVA Tekken, the motion picture, Nina accused Anna of being responsible for his death. In the spin-off Death by Degrees also non-canon, Richard had died when the sisters were still young, and that he was killed when he was trying to protect his children. Shin Kamiya, Kamiya, voiced by Memoru Miyano Japanese, David Vincent English, Shin Kamiya Shen Gu Zhen. Kamiya Shin is a character specifically created for the CGI film Tekken, Blood Vengeance, which is an alternate retelling of the events between Tekken 5 and Tekken 6. He was a student of the Misima Polytechnic High School, where he was a friend of Jin Kazama. During the start of the film, he has moved out to the Kyoto International High School and is apparently very sought after by both Jin and Kazuya Misima. Ling Zaya Ryu, who is sent by Anna Williams to temporarily attend that school to find Shin, first meets him just as he is about to commit suicide by jumping from the roof, which is ultimately a futile attempt. As Zaya Ryu and Alice Baskanovich sent by Nina Williams delve further, it is revealed that Shin, along with his entire class, had been experimented by Heihachi, Misima thought to be dead at that time with the devil gene to test immortality. Shin is the only survivor, and he has since been given immortality, which he despises, thus explaining his temptation to take his own life. Shin is eventually kidnapped, which causes Zaya Ryu and Alisa to work together to find him, only to find out that he had purposefully lured Heihachi to himself. Shin attempts to punch Heihachi, but he easily braces against it as he breaks Shin's spine, killing him. Shin was one of the proposed character concepts, as a playable character in Tekken Revolution. The developer found it difficult to make him as a playable character due to his lack of knowledge in martial arts and the fact that he died in the film he appeared in, although there was an idea to make him an immortal character. In the character poll, Shin ranked third above the zombie bride and below Eliza and sexy female Tekken Force. Taogu, Wu, voiced by Hozumi Go to Taogu Dong Zhang. Togo is Lars Alexanderson's friend and fellow member of the Tekken Force of Misima Zebetsu. When Lars rebels against the Force, Taugu follows suit, and he becomes Lars and Alice Baskanovich's source of information during their travel throughout the world in attempt to avoid the Misima Zebutsu's manhunt. However, during their raid of G Corporation headquarters, in which Taugu also participates, he is killed by the company's forces, causing Lars to swear to take revenge against the enemies for his death. While he is not a playable character in any of the games, his cybernetic sword is available as an item move for Lars in Tekken Tag Tournament 2. Taugu was one of the character concepts considered in a poll for a new character to be added in Tekken Revolution. He would have used a style similar to Lars, but with the added abilities to use his sword and to call for airstrikes via radio. Unused Characters 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 Unused characters refer to characters who were once planned to appear in the series as playable fighters, but never made it past the conceptual stages. Average run-of-the-mill old man An average old man who was not a martial artist and mentioned as weak. The concept surfaced early within the series, and he may have been reworked into Wang Jinrei. Female Paul A female version of Paul Phoenix who was described as a very cute girl. The concept was thrown out due to it not making any logical sense. Ganmi Chan Ganmi Chan Japanese, Ganmi Chian was to be a teenage female sumo wrestler who idolized Gan Ryu. She was proposed for Tekken Tag Tournament 2 but was discarded in fears that she would overshadow the somewhat unpopular Gan Ryu. A character sketch was completed several years ago and the result was of a cute anime girl, like those found in the Idol Master. The sketch was later revealed by series producer Katsuhiro Harada on his Twitter account, in which he stated that if the tweet is retweeted 1,000 times, he would convince the staff to attempt her design as a real character. Giant Praying Mantis During development of Tekken 3, 
a game bug caused the joints of a character to move backwards, making the character model deformed and appear like a mutated praying mantis. It inspired the team to make a giant praying mantis creature as a fighter, but by then it was too late to start work on him. Unused data within the Tekken 3 arcade machine shows evidence of him being planned for the game. Sexy Tekken Force Member A female Tekken Force member described as gorgeous and sexy. The original concept was proposed for Tekken 5, but her costume was too revealing the armor being very bikini-like and the concept was scrapped for fears the rating would increase. The concept resurfaced for Tekken 6, but again went unused. Many different martial arts for her were proposed, including Silat, Krav Maga, Sevate, Tikayon, Sistema, and Eskrima. In the results of the character poll to determine the new character for Tekken Revolution, she ranked in second place, just below Eliza, who was then known as Female Vampire. Sake Slash Salmon A Salmon Out of Water Originally planned for Tekken 3, punch buttons would cause the salmon to flop around, and the kick buttons would make it release eggs. However, given that the original arcade game charged 100 yen you sewn dollar to play, playing as a joke character that would inevitably lose would have caused some backlash. Like the Praying Mantis, leftover data can be found within the Tekken 3 game files. Hacking the game also allows you to play as Seek but it is simply Yashimitsu with Jin Kazama's moves. Taekwondo Girl Taekwondo Girl was a female Taekwondo fighter and was scheduled to appear in Tekken Mobile in a new update. However, due to the game being cancelled, she remains an unused character. Wild Card Wild Card is an irregular character appearing only in the arcade version of Tekken. It is essentially the game's random select that picks out different fighters by random to display for the game's demo attraction, but hacking the game reveals it is a standalone character. Playing as Wildcard simply chooses Kazuya Mishima and gives him Yashimitsu's moves. Zombie Bride A zombie bride in a wedding dress. The idea first came up around Tekken 3 as the first zombie in a fighting game. The idea resurfaced again for Tekken 6, as the sister of Miel who was killed in an airstrike and came back to life. Since the fighting style for a zombie was considered too difficult to create, the idea was scrapped. Zombie Bride ranked fourth in the character poll to determine the new character for Tekken Revolution just below Shin Kamiya. Equals equals references equals equals equals.